Okay, working on this uh, heat pump Lennox XP17 3-ton. And what's going on here, as you can see, we are replacing the outdoor fan motor and blade. And how we determined that was when the system was running, of course this would be energized, it's energized now, but we have the disconnect off. Uh, we would have power energizing the compressor and the outdoor fan. And these two leads down here where it says common and fan power motor that would energize the actual fan motor somewhere between i think it's like 9 to 22 volts dc and that would spin the the uh the motor there um i was getting 19 actually nine, between 19 to 22 volts dc and the fan would not spin so um so yeah so now we got the new motor so it looks like they went ahead and uh maybe redesigned the fan motor fan blade i'm not sure what it is but this is the new replacement part so it's no longer the five uh, what's that so it's no longer the five like that hard plastic composite fan blade now it's a three um three metal fan blade so let's move this grill out the way here um but other than that same horsepower um these have the same leads same leads here just like this one here so we're gonna see if we can try to maybe use this if we can uh, that conduit and put everything back together and get this AC up and running so right here we got so these are the settings here so ambient it's 9d6 C1, that means uh, cooling stage for one. F is the fan RPMs, which is 600. So A is the ambient, 9, 6, 96. C is cooling, one stage. Fan, 600 RPMs, 600. So that's what it's set for for this particular three ton unit. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Looks like this is a little pitted. Um, I'll have to get flashlight. It looks pretty pretty black in there. Um, hold on, let's see here. Yeah, it kind of looks like it, but so yeah. So if we weren't getting power from here, from common and fan PWM then that would mean that the circuit board is bad. But we definitely want to make sure that we are getting power to the actual, um, so it's always going to have power from L1 to L2 uh, going to the, um, to, the, to, the, to the fan motor. Um, doesn't go on to like the, the, um, the capacitor. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, replace it and then test it out. Okay, I got the old one off, got the new one in place, getting ready to put these little acorn nuts. So, kind of press for time here, and I was able to use that conduit here to protect it. So, I'm um, kind of pressed for time because it looks like it, it might rain. So, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Okay, the storm is coming. So it's definitely getting dark. Um, so I just put away my tools, what I'm not gonna use at the moment, and I close the disconnect. So all I gotta do is just put this cover on, 
grab my other tools and just keep working underneath this umbrella here if it gets real bad then I'll just run to the truck and I'll keep on moving okay so I use these the foam that came with the motor and ran this through this little hole here that comes through there I already secured my grounding wire to that grounding screw it doesn't reach all the way over here which it doesn't matter as long as it's secured to the frame and then I'm gonna go ahead and reattach these wires and uh, my brown and my black back to common for my black and I wrote it down and my brown for my fan power motor and uh, just clean this up and test the motor and uh, let you know how it turns out okay we got everything in place everything is secured we're gonna go get ready and flip this see what we got There we go. We got the fan on. Eighty. So we got cooling stages one. Fan is six zero zero six hundred RPMs. Ambient is eighty eight. So it's cooled down a little bit since the sun has gone down. Now let's see what we got as far as. If I can kind of do this here, so I already got this set to volts DC, and I'm gonna stick my black into my common, and there we go. We got 18 volts, 18.25. Kind of fluctuates a little bit, but. We are reading voltage DC, so we are getting power to the fan, so that's good news. So let's see what we got as far as voltage. Let's go ahead and switch this back to volts. 244 volts. Two hundred and forty-four volts. Awesome. See what our amp draw is on this fan motor here. Just do one of these legs here. So we got 0.96 amps. And full load amps is 2 amps. good nice and quiet so we'll let it run we'll go ahead and close this off and it's starting to rain Let's see what my total amps is 9.7 I'm gonna close this up get some uh, temperature readings downstairs put that door on and that's it